I'm kind of surprised that I'm able to lift my whole body weight up by just pulling on this one rope. But that is because I'm using this clever contraption known as the pulley up here in Wonder Lab at the Science Museum. And this is Esther who's going to explain it all for us. What's going on? Well, when you pull yourself up, the rope actually loops over and under this wheel called a pulley. Mm. So when you're going up, there are actually two pieces of rope pulling you upwards, which makes it as if you're almost twice as strong. Oh, what? That's some clever physics, that is. So, oh, I see what you mean. There are two ropes, so that kind of shares my weight out and it means that I'm twice as strong as I normally am. Exactly. Gotcha. What about this one then? So, on this other chair... Oh, seatbelt. Get strapped in first. Safety first. We're good. So, the rope actually loops <laughs> under and over and under the pulleys, which means that there are actually four pieces of rope pulling me upwards, which makes me four times as strong. <laughs> which is why you're winning this race, because that makes you twice as strong as me. Yes. That is not fair. Okay, let's release. So that is one way to answer the question of how can you lift something heavier than yourself? When I see people on this exhibit, I often think how amazing it is that our food gives us energy. And that energy makes our muscles pull on our bones so that we can lift heavy things. It's a good point, like muscles. Have you ever thought about how you can train them by doing some exercise and make them bigger and stronger? But if you don't have big, strong muscles, can you think of another way to lift a really heavy object? Could you design a machine to help you lift something? Could you invent a force meter to measure how strong you are? Or maybe you could write a story about the strongest person in the world, or a super strong robot, or what happened if a mega strong group of aliens came to Earth? 